Bass players, are you the victim of a bad sound check? Has this ever happened to you? You show up to the gig, say hey to the other musicians and set up your gear. Then the sound engineer is doing line checks and they say those dreaded words. Can I get some bass? What are you going to play? By the way, that was I Got a Feeling by the Black Eyed Peas. Don't let this happen to you. Imagine playing a bass line that simultaneously gives the sound engineer enough of what they need for front of house, while simultaneously impressing the other musicians on stage, showing that you can actually play and that you have impeccable music taste. Well, now you can. Digging the Greats presents eight funky bass lines to impress everybody at Soundcheck. Is the idea of playing a cool, funky, slightly deeper cut bass line in order to impress the other musicians on stage an incredibly vain idea? Yes. Is this something that we all subconsciously do? Come on, I can't be the only one who does this. Today, I'm giving you eight funky bass lines to play during sound check that will, at most, turn heads, but at least let everyone on stage know it's gonna be a good gig. Here are the qualifications for this list. It has to be a song that has a good bass line, but isn't too sparse. We're sound checking, remember? And we don't want it to be too recognizable. We're not talking about classic funk bass lines. Those are great, but you're trying to turn heads, remember? Also, while these are all funky, they're not all necessarily funky funk proper. We've got some hip hop, a small but incredible early 80s scene, and even a TV show theme. I'll play the line, break it down a little, embellish it a little, and give you an interesting fact about each song so you sound like you know what you're talking about and you didn't just learn this from a YouTube video just now. I got you. First up is Come Down by Anderson Pack from his 2016 album Malibu. This is a great line for soundcheck because it plays through a decent range of the bass with lots of chromatics and it's crazy funky. This song's in B flat minor, but the recording's just a little bit flat, so I'm gonna keep it in B flat minor for soundcheck. <laughs> This line is so good and so funky. If you know Anderson Pack's pre-Silk Sonic solo work, you know and love this song. But if you don't understand why his name is Anderson Dot Pack, it still sounds funky and cool. This song was produced by High Tech, who produced half of the songs of the 1998 Black Star album from Most Def and Talib Kweli. The bass player on this is Brian Cockerham, who's also recorded for Talib Kweli and PJ Morton, among others. If this is a little too modern for your tastes, let's go a little older for the next one. This is a classic bass line that's slightly deeper cut. All right, it's not that deep, but it's better than like, play that funky music. That song is fine, but that's not turning heads. Fantastic Voyage is from 1980, but I know it mostly from the 1996 movie First Kid, where Sinbad's the bodyguard for the president's son and he's teaching him how to dance. Remember that movie? It's so good. The bass on this song is a combination of electric bass and synth, so if you're also sound checking synth bass, this would be a great song to do both with. And if you're slapping on this gig, this is your time to shine. Figure out how to mostly play the line on electric and then call it a day. Fantastic Voyage was also sampled by Coolio in 1994 for his song, also called Fantastic Voyage. And speaking of 90s nostalgia and Coolio... The title of this song is actually Aw oh, Here It Goes, but most people would just call it the Keenan and Kel theme song. This is one of the first bass lines I learned as soon as I got my hands on a bass as a kid. It's so good, Coolio included it on his greatest hits album from 2001. Mm. Rest in peace, Coolio. Man, 90s Nickelodeon was killing it. Coolio doing the theme song for Keenan and Kel and TLC for the All That theme song. So I'm putting this bass line on the list because it's perfect for what we're looking for. Anyone who watched Keenan and Kel is instantly taken back to a simpler time. And if you don't know the song, it still covers enough range and sounds funky. That's right, you get eight bass lines for the low price of continuing to watch this video. Okay, I know I said I was gonna give you one fact about each song, but there's a lot for this one. All Night Long by the Mary Jane Girls is from the 1983 debut self-titled album. This is another one where the recording is a little bit out of tune, so pick a key and go with it. Mm-hmm. 
This whole album was produced and written by Rick James, and the group itself was actually kind of an accident. Rick James tried to get Motown to sign one of his background singers, JoJo McDuffie, but because of a miscommunication with Motown, they thought they were signing an all-girl group made up of his background singers. So the Mary Jane Girls were born. This bass line is an interpolation of Rising to the Top by Kenny Burke, which is from 1982. And Rising to the Top has been sampled many times, including Take You There by Pete Rock and CL Smooth in 1994, Around the Way Girl by LL Cool J in 1990, which actually samples both songs, again by LL in 2002 for Paradise, Mary J. Blige, 50 Cent, Slum Village, the list goes on and on. So All Night Long is one of the first instances of Rising to the Top being basically sampled. Something I love about both of these bass lines is that you're essentially pulling short syncopated notes out of thin air. So if you're playing this bass line by yourself, make sure you're playing with a good sense of internal time. You should always bring your own sense of time to the table and don't rely on the drummer for your time. If you're both bringing your own sense of where the beat is, once you figure each other out, it's gonna feel amazing and the drummer's gonna say you're super easy to play with. So use this bass line as an example of the excellent sense of time you bring to the table. If you can make people wanna dance with just a bass line and nothing else, you've won. All Night Long was covered by Erica Badu on her 1997 live album, and it's amazing. It starts with the intro from Boogie Nights by Heat Wave, then goes into All Night Long, and eventually goes into the next bass line we're gonna talk about. I'm a little bit obsessed with this early 80s period of funk music. It's so funky, so much good bass stuff, and it's a pre-thriller era, which changed a lot of stuff after. This bass line is great for checking the low end of the bass, particularly if you've got a five string and you're playing in the original key. I'm gonna embellish a little bit past what's on the record so that it fits our purposes. This is like finding a perfectly preserved T-Rex fossil. This T-Rex was just minding its own business, making funky music before the meteor thriller hit. In addition to Erica mixing this into her live version of All Night Long, this has been sampled or interpolated many times. We're talking the Jungle Brothers, Snoop Dogg, Slum Village, Mariah Carey Mystical, and many more. By the way, I've put together a Spotify playlist of every song mentioned in this video so you can keep diving deep on this stuff. This song is from 1980, right in that post-disco pre-thriller era, and features Marcus Miller on bass, as well as Bernard Wright on keys, who, wait, we gotta talk about Nard. If you know, you know. And if you don't know, here's what you need to know. Just go and listen to the album Nard. It's incredible. It's one of my favorite things ever recorded. Here's the bass line from the song Hobble Globo Trippin'. Yes, Hobble Globo Trippin'. Bernard Wright's 1981 album Nard is an absolute classic, but not enough people are hip to it. I honestly wanted to make the whole list of bass lines for this video all lines from this album because they're that good. This was a whole scene of guys in Jamaica, Queens, New York, funkin' for Jamaica, cranking out this incredible funky music. This song was written by Don Blackman, another incredible musician in this scene, and you should check out his album as well. The only reason he's not on this list is because I couldn't find a bass line that fit the qualifications for a soundcheck bass line. Hobble Globa Trippin' is funky like it feels great, but also funky in the sense that it's just so weird. The title's weird, the vocals are weird. It's talking about this amusement park, but it's like one of the coolest things I've ever heard. This song was sampled on the Snoop Dogg song G's and Hustlers on Doggy Style in 1993 and the Tupac song Lie to Kick It. And the rest of this Bernard Wright album has been sampled extensively by artists like Dr. Dre, Skilo, and LL Cool J. If you bust out a Bernard Wright bass line at Soundcheck and someone on stage recognizes it, game over. You just locked in that gig for life. Spotify link in the description, go listen to it. And then the sound guy says something smart, like play something and you just go blank. You may be due for some practicing. Call the number at the bottom of your screen now. Oh, this one's good. Mac Miller, rest in peace. This is from his 2018 album, Swimming. It features none other than Thundercat on bass, as well as, I just learned, Snoop Dogg on backgrounds. Here's the line. Now, 
Now, two additional things about this song. One, you gotta check out the Mac Miller Tiny Desk concert, cause it's great. Thundercats with him, killing it. And the second thing, the pro level move here is to not just play the line, but also play the insane fill that Thundercat plays on the record. <laughs> It's hard to tell exactly what notes he's playing in that fill, but it's close enough for soundtrack. This bass line is another perfect example of the thing where if you know it, it's like you're in a secret club, and if you don't know it, you want to be part of that club. All right, last but certainly not least, it always comes back to this group. If you play this in your sound check, this is like you're coming out guns blazing. It's so good. You're covering the range of the bass, playing something so aggressively funky, and letting everyone know this is gonna be a good gig. I'm convinced that this is either two bass parts laid on top of each other, or maybe he's tuned his E string up to an F, because this is insanely hard to play. So do your best, as long as it's grooving and feeling good, that's what's most important. This song is from 1976, features Verdine White crushing it, and it's Earth, Wind & Fire at their best. Although, pretty much every Earth, Wind & Fire song is fantastic, so you kinda can't go wrong. Oh, and bonus points if you also play the intro whole tone line. <laughs> So remember, click on the Spotify link in the description to get the playlist today. Whichever bass line you choose to play for soundcheck, pick a good one. Make it intentional. It doesn't even have to be one of these. Drop a comment and let me know what your favorite bass line is for soundcheck. And then if you're a bass player or an Earth, Wind & Fire fan, here's the next video you should watch.